This is Tailgate Talk, presented by Tarpon Blue. Let's take a ride. In this series, we're going to show you everything Texas and its surrounding southern states has to offer, right here from our very own tailgate. We'll take you from life on the farm and the ranch to the big city lights. This is Tailgate Talk. Come along for the ride. Hi, I'm Katie Abermite, and on this week's episode of Tailgate Talk, we are in lovely downtown Seguin at Pecan Town Books and Brews with Tess Cootie Anders, mm-hmm. the owner, and she's going to tell us where she came up with this lovely idea, how it got started, and what you can expect if you come here. Thank you, Katie. I really appreciate y'all coming in. It's, yes. it's good to see you um, in a different light, not just as someone who's perusing the shelves and having something yes. to drink and a bite to eat, so thank you. Yeah, well, um, it's a great place. It's thank a great space you. that you've created for people. We'll really appreciate it. This was our passion project for downtown Seguin. You know, we have this lovely working downtown where mm-hmm. people really live and work and play in downtown. And um, we felt like um, it needed yet one more place where folks could come together and have what we call productive collisions. Yes. And there's no better way to make that happen than with books. And, and when you add breaking bread to breaking spines of books together in one place, You know, it creates a real sense of community, and people make connections with each other and with ideas that they maybe didn't have before. And so we're really excited about that. Well, and you'll offer a lot of things that you can't really find in the area as well. I think you have a very unique menu. Mm -hmm. Uh, Why don't you talk a little bit about what y'all offer as far as your your cafe area goes? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it was really important to us that we give people an experience. Mm -hmm. And so... um, we thought, you know, on our menu, we would look at ways that we could support, the same way that with our books we're supporting a lot of independent presses, how could we support um, small artisans? So right. we started with Farm Fresh Fair um, that we buy from, for example, Fox Hello Farms, okay. right? Or uh, the flowers on our tables come from uh, Flor Abuela's farm here locally. And what combinations of those um, foods uh, and food sources could we bring together to create some seasonal flavors? Um, and so, you know, it's light fare. It's soups and salads and sandwiches and snacks and um, and then something special thrown into the mix. Right. Um, and fresh-baked everything. We have uh, gluten-free and vegan and vegetarian baked goods and breads. Right. And, and so, you know, we want the food and the wine and the craft beer and the non-alcoholic drinks to be as interesting as the and, and have as much variety as the books on the shelves. Right. Well, I, I the first time I came in here, I was blown away at the amount of books that you have. So there's not really a bookstore in the game that right. you can go to and you can buy books. So that's really great. One of my frustrations is I was a first grade teacher and I, I love to give books to children as gifts. And coming in here the amount of children's books that you have is amazing and I think that that's that's really a gift to Seguin. Well thank you so much. You know I think we're trying to strike a balance. Um, you know, Seguin has not had a true bookstore right. in many 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 years. A generation really. Right. And so often what I find is for folks who um, are experiencing an actual brick and mortar bookstore for the first time Something really large, like a Barnes and Noble or Book People, can feel overwhelming. Yes, it can. And so we really wanted to create this intimate space that felt like you were being welcomed into someone's home who just happened to have an amazing library right. of, of books. And so what we find is it's manageable for people to look through these shelves and find mm-hmm. themselves in the shelves. If it were any more than this, we think it might be a little overwhelming. Yes. Um, at the same time, you know, we, we're small, so we can't carry everything, and we've developed a really robust um, custom ordering program for folks too. Well, that's great. And that's been great. And the city's been really, the com- it's really a three county region that we're right. drawing from and folks have been really supportive. And you've really offered a lot of great things for the community where they can come and get involved. They don't just have to come and buy a book, but why don't you tell us some of, about some of the, some of those events? Absolutely. So, um, you know, we see ourselves as a convener as well. So, um, not only do we have authors whose books are on our shelves, mm-hmm 
come from all over the place. This just this weekend we had an author from LA who was here. Um, but we also create uh, unique uh, custom events. For example, we do something called uh, Wine and True Crime right. or Murder and Mimosa, where this really gifted uh, coworker I have, she researches a true crime story and then recounts it to a group while they have a lovely brunch or meal and some wine. Um, almost like a live podcast and it's always really well researched and fun. Oh wow. Yeah. And then we will have things like cook the book where every, all the participants, uh, uh, buy the book. They each choose one recipe in the book to make. You bring it potluck style okay. and our executive chef or our pastry chef leads a discussion about what we cooked. Uh, Tess, I've noticed also that you've created a lot of great spaces within your business for the community to come and kind of gather and people mm -hmm. to just hang out as well. Why don't you, will you tell us a little bit about what you'll have going on outside sure. if you have any special events yeah. planned for that? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we're, we're situated in a house built in the early part of the, the 20th century. So right. this is an art deco bungalow and we wanted to um, maintain that sense of you're being invited into someone's home. So every room is almost its own space for being, right. and that includes the outdoors. So we have a, a grassy tree covered area where you can play cornhole and picnic and have drinks and visit. And then we have a courtyard area with some umbrella picnic tables and uh, you know, string lights outside where we often have live music um, and other activities. So whether it's inside or outside, you know, there's kind of a place for folks right. to be. That's really great. Um, where can people go to learn more about your business or um, if they wanted to order books online or things like that, how can they do that? Appreciate that. Really appreciate folks being willing to support a local and independent bookstore. And there are a number of ways to do that. So first of all, just to learn more about us and our events, there's certainly our website, which is mm -hmm. contownbooks.com. Our social pages also, we list everything we're doing um, and updates on what's happening at the store on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and TikTok. Okay. Um, and then independent bookstores like ours, um, you can support us uh, with remote purchases, e-commerce, through bookshop.org. Okay. Or if you prefer to uh, listen to audiobooks, there's a service called Libro FM. Both of those are alternatives to Amazon because they specifically support small, independent, local bookstores. Okay. And so That's if you want to order a book or download um, an, an uh, audio version of a book from either of those sites, mm -hmm. um, you can specifically support uh, through the uh, Pecan Town page on both those sites. Okay. And there, I'm assuming there's a link to that there on your is, website. And there's a link on our website to both our bookshop site and our Libro FM link as well. Okay. So well, that's perfect. Also, you can call us anytime, and we special order books, so we can ship them directly to you. So oh, that's whatever works too. for folks. Okay. Um, well, thank you so much yeah, for thank you. opening up so the doors to, to us you. and to letting you. us come in today. Thank you. Hope folks come and visit us. Yes, and we'll see you guys next week on Tailgate Talk. Thanks for tuning in today, and thank you to our guests for sharing their story. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time on, on Tailgate, Tailgate Talk. Talk. Thank you.